Hey everyone, what's up? Welcome or welcome back to my channel. My name is Lena and in today's video, we will be cash stuffing my bartending tip money. So I bartend as a side gig and this past Saturday I made $290. So let me quickly set this up. All right, so happy November, you guys. I can't believe it's already November and we're heading into the last two months of the year. Um, it's going to fly by because of all the holidays and stuff. And this month is also my middle sister's birthday. She is turning 30. Um, but really quick before we uh, start the video, I did want to mention that I did deplete majority of my um, envelopes in my tote binder, which is my high priority binder. And this is where it houses like my longer term savings where um, you know I would have more money in here because of my last cash stuffing, my car was in the shop and it was getting a big maintenance. It was already gonna cost $1,100, but then they called me and informed me that I needed new rotors and brakes, which I kind of knew because my car was like breaking funny and that was an additional 700 unexpected. So I really didn't wanna touch my emergency fund. So I made the decision to deplete the um, funds in this binder. So most of them are depleted, um, but yeah, it is what it is. Sometimes you have to do that and you know, it sucks because unexpected things always tend to happen, but yeah, which is the reason why it's so important to, you know, just have some backup, some emergency fund or savings that you can fall back on. But anyway, enough of that. Let's start into, let's head into the video. Starting out with this binder, I'm going to start um, with cash savings. This is going to get $5. Vet expenses is going to get five. Didn't deplete this because this is newer and it's for Capone, our dog. So vet expenses has 20, 40, 45, 50, and 55. Family fun um, is going to get skipped. Medical is getting five. So medical has 20, 40, 50, 60, and 65. Car is going to get 10. And debt is going to get five. Investments is getting five as well. So we have 10, 20, 30, and 35. Travel is getting five as well. It was heartbreaking to um, deplete travel. And then dream home is getting five, but I will try to build it back up. So that is everything for my tote binder. Next into my family binder, it's going to only get um, Two, two envelopes are only going to get stuffed versus my son's savings and he is going to get five. So we have 1,000, 10, 15, 20, and 25. So 1,000 and $25. And then I was gonna add five into personal, but I'm going to add five into siblings instead for my middle sister's birthday. So now we have 100, 120, 140, 160, 170, and 175. So I should have one more cash stuffing before her birthday. We're um, planning to add the remaining 25 to bring it to 200. But that is everything for that binder. And then I'm gonna jump into my pink binder. So starting out with my son's daycare, this is going to be getting $100. So we have 100, 120, 140, 160, 180, and 200. Next is household, and household is going to get $10. So we have 10, 20, 30, and 40. My son's necessities is also going to get 10, so now it has 20. And then Capone, our dog, is getting 10. So 20, 30, 35, and 40. All right, skipping to Beauty. Beauty is going to be getting $10. And that is all that it has. And Home Decor is getting five. So now we're it has 25. I'm trying to beef this up because I really like Christmas decor. Um, well, I'm not really a big decorator, but I like to, you know, put out a few Christmas pieces on top of the Christmas tree. Um, but yeah, I'm excited to decorate for Christmas. So I did put up some of the decorations from last year, and then I just want to add a couple more for this year. I don't, I don't know exactly what, but I'm sure when I go to like TJ Maxx and Home Goods and all that, they will tell me like what I need. So skipping to gifts, this is going to get $5. So now it has 10. Just trying to add a little bit more to gifts for like, um, maybe like Christmas cards and you know, random things. 
annual expenses is going to get five. So we have 200, 300, 350, 370, 380, 385, and 390 in annual. It's actually um, 490. I do have $100 um, from one of my sinking funds in my ally account that I didn't, I don't know where it came from, I forgot. But I transferred it to um, annual because I have my life insurance annual bill coming up. So yeah. So before we jump into my um, white binder, I want to announce a little giveaway. So I'm actually giving away one of these gray binders. And in there, I included some savings challenges. So first is the, she wants the D savings challenge from um, Authentic Allison. Allison. Um, and this is so cute because it's for Dunkin' Donuts, but you know, the pun, she wants the D. So that was so cute. And I included a um, envelope for this challenge. I'm gonna leave that there. And then the second saving challenge is from Budget with Carly. And this is a Christmas scratch off saving challenge where you will save $100. This was just so cute. I got one for myself as well. And then last but not least, we have the Save the Bill saving challenge from Nancy over at Un Petit Budget. And you will save $250. You just check off the um, bill that you're saving and I included a envelope. So if you guys are interested in entering for this giveaway, just leave me one comment down below and let me know one of your goals for the remainder two months of the year for 2023 and leave a white heart emoji after your comment. And yeah, that would be it to enter for the giveaway. Um, I will just keep it for US only, unfortunately, just because shipping um, internationally is quite pricey. So I do apologize for that. Um, but yeah, I will probably keep this giveaway open for about a week or so and I'll announce it in one of my future videos. So that is that. Last but not least, we have my holiday slash um, saving challenge binder. So for Christmas, this is going to get $20 and I am stuffing the uh, money into my Christmas um, envelope, but I actually got this cute savings challenge tracker from Aya over from Aya Plans. She sent a couple like freebie saving challenges for me. I ordered um, a tracker from her. But anyway, this is so cute and I actually pre-filmed this video um, one time before, but anyway, I'm stuffing $20 and I did color in the Santa earlier in my prior video, if you guys can see. So let's add 20. Oops. So now Christmas has 500, 600, 700, 720, 740, 760, 780, 800, and 820. So 820 dollars. My goal is 1,000 dollars. So I'm like 180 away from that goal. But this savings tracker is actually for 375. So that that would put me around like 1,200 if I finish it. Um, so if I do finish this tracker, then great. If not, then you know 1K is fine. But I just wanted to incorporate that since we are so close to Christmas and I love this time of the year. And then here's the Char Carly challenge that I mentioned earlier. This one's for myself and it saves $100 in this one as well. And I'm thinking about putting that towards um, my son's daycare teacher's Christmas gift. It's just so I don't have to, you know, tap in my family Christmas gift budget. And then the beaver challenge, I already put in the sticker, but I put in $8.00. So let's add eight to the beaver challenge. So five, six, seven, and eight. So now we have 20, 25, 30, 31, two, three, four, five, six, seven. So 37 for the beaver challenge. And once I am done with the beaver challenge, I'm adding that towards my car maintenance fund since I just depleted that. And then last but not least, I am adding $52 into the 100 envelope challenge. And I did color in my tracker earlier. So 20, 40, 50, 51, and 52. So yeah, I have less than 30 envelopes away. So we will see. All right, so that is it for today's video. I hope you guys enjoy this cash stuffing. Thank you so much for hanging out. And if I don't talk to you, I hope you guys enjoy the rest of your day, your week, your weekend, whenever you're watching. And I'll catch you guys in my next video. Bye.